I got to ask this question this morning. How can we grow our followers on LinkedIn? It's a really good question. I'm going to answer it in this video. So first of all, know this, that every time you make a LinkedIn connection, by default, they are also a follower of yours. Additionally, if someone sends you a LinkedIn invite and you don't accept the invite, they are still a follower of yours until they decide to unfollow you. Now, let's talk about some of the tactics that you should use to grow your following on LinkedIn. I've written down eight ideas to share with you. Here's number one. First of all, you need to know who you want to follow you. You don't want everyone to follow you. Who you really want to follow you are your target audience and their influencers. Everybody else just adds to the number. What's important is the right people following you, your target audience and their influencers. Here's number two. You need to build your LinkedIn profile out so that it clearly speaks to your target audience so that when they see your profile and they see that follow button on your profile, which will typically be right here or under more, then they will go, oh, this is the kind of person I want to follow. Make sure your entire LinkedIn profile speaks clearly to your target audience, telling them who you are and what you do. Here's the next one. Grow your LinkedIn network so that you're, you're connecting with the right people. You know, a, a LinkedIn network, again, by default, they're also followers. So go look for the people who are highly relevant to you. Look for your target audience, look for their influencers, and look for a way to get introduced to them and then to connect with them. Here's the next big one. You should share content on a regular basis on LinkedIn. Now, by the way, you should always have a document. You should maybe have a document or two a year or, or, or more if you can. And you should always have at least one article or maybe a yearly article. But as far as post, you want to share content on a regular basis. Whatever you can sustain, once a week would be a decent number. You want to share a post on a regular basis that is relevant, useful, engaging, beneficial to your target audience. And the more content you share, the more, especially if you have follower mode turned on, the more likely someone will bump into your content who is relevant to you and they'll see that follow button and want to follow your content. Here's another one. It's not just about sharing content, it's about getting into conversations. So you should look for opportunities to get into conversations using the comment button. Don't waste a lot of time with the like button, but you should look, uh, look for ways to engage on content that is relevant to you and relevant to your target audience. Again, this creates an opportunity for you to show up in somebody else's conversation, for somebody who's relevant to you to see what you said, click on your profile and potentially follow you. Here's another one. Don't make this one-sided. You should find people who are of interest to you and you should follow them. So look for people who are getting into conversations that are relevant to you and relevant to your target audience and maybe decide this is somebody who's of interest to you so you should follow them. So I just hit the follow button. Now I'm following Fred. He's an interesting character. Follow others. And that may create an opportunity for them to want to figure out who you are and follow you. You may want to turn on creator mode. Creator mode uh, makes your profile look a little differently. It puts the follow button right here. It shows the your uh, others how many people are following you. And the more followers you have, the more others may want to follow you because they feel that others think you have interesting content. And also, file, uh, turning on creator mode shows uh, you know what uh, what you're talking about, hashtags, and thus you should talk about these hashtags. And uh, and then as if you are a creator, it creates an opportunity for you to do LinkedIn Live, LinkedIn Audio, and LinkedIn newsletters, which again are opportunities to share content to create opportunities for more followers. So another tip that just came to mind, and that is. 
to invite people to follow you when you can. When I share content on my blog, on my YouTube channel, through uh, uh, Quora, and even at the bottom of my email signatures, wherever I can, wherever, wherever relevant and appropriate, I invite people to follow me. And my last little tip is to remember to network for mutual benefit. It's great to create followers, it's great to get new people to connect with you who are relevant to you, but also don't make this all about you. Make LinkedIn all about networking for mutual benefit. You should care about other people's content, you should care about others, you should be willing to introduce people to each other. When you do it that way, it creates a greater opportunity for you to be successful as well, and growing your following is one way to be more successful. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope these ideas are helpful for you. Mm -hmm.